end tonight with President Biden making an emergency request for more than $300 million to address the Tijuana River sewage crisis. Uh, the move has the support of Governor Newsom, who says the funding would help speed up construction that is desperately needed. And Fox 5's Jason Slaw starts us off live from Imperial Beach to break it all down. Jason. Yeah, well, here in Imperial Beach, the yellow signs are posted in the sand all year long, warning people to stay out of the water because of the contamination. So now a big chunk of federal funding, a step in the right direction. It should help. It would go towards taking care of a water treatment facility at the border that right now just isn't getting the job done. President Biden is now asking for $310 million in emergency funding to address the Tijuana River sewage crisis, which continues to plague Southern Beach communities. The situation is as dire as it's ever been. That's why these $310 million are so critical. Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Gary and other local leaders have desperately fought for years to get the federal government to take notice of the environmental and health crisis caused by the constant flow of raw sewage and chemicals from across the border. The local health clinic has seen a significant increase in gastrointestinal infections and we've had reports of some of our residents who live by the beach having some other types of illnesses. The proposed $310 million in emergency funding would help fix and expand the International Wastewater Treatment Plant near San Ysidro, operated by the International Boundary and Water Commission. The $310 million would supplement the $300 million approved in 2021 to help with the facility's expansion, so it can double the amount of raw sewage treated daily from 25 million to 50 million gallons. The IBWC has documented that more than 36 Seven billion gallons of polluted water has crossed the border just this year. And right now, the facility is in urgent need of maintenance, especially after some added damage from Tropical Storm Hillary. Right where the river flow comes in from Tijuana, it's totally contaminated, and right now, it's not functioning properly, and most of it's not being treated. Coronado City Council Member John Duncan is also part of the IBWC Advisory Committee. The current plant that's operating has $150 million in deferred maintenance. The new plant originally was uh, estimated to be 600 million. It's probably almost even closer to a billion. But we've had commitments to get the design out for the new plant. The EPA is backing it. We need the rest of the funding. Every bit of it is a huge, huge help. So this 310 million, if we can get it through Congress, now that we have a speaker, will be fantastic. Mayor Aguirre believes it'll take around $1.5 billion to do the job right. We need additional funding. And most important of all, we need the president to declare a state of emergency. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're not there yet. And she says by declaring a state of emergency, those fixes would happen faster. But Congress needs to approve the funding. That's the next step. Live in Imperial Beach, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. Wow.